Drought conditions and triple digit temperatures have only increased wildfire wildfire risks all across the country, including right here in Houston. Fox's Joy Addison is joining us with some more details. Anthony, that's right. A 24 unit apartment complex in Austin, Texas, and 80,000 acres in uh, California and Nevada have burned. We've, all, we've also unfortunately seen over 100 people killed. This all happening um, from wildfires. Those people killed were in Maui, and all of this happened this month. Wildfire prevention experts say that due to current weather conditions, we could see more wildfires headed our way this year. When, it, when it's this dry and the fire gets going, suppression efforts are very difficult. This Fox weather map shows drought conditions across the U.S. As of last Tuesday, the U.S. Drought Monitor reports nearly 26% of the U.S. and Puerto Rico and 30% of the lower 48 states are in some level of drought. And that, combined with record-breaking heat, brings us here. The National Center for Environmental Information showing over 1,200 more wildfires this year so far compared to all of 2022. With all these conditions, all these states are having to deal with the wildfire danger right now, a very active season. The U.S. Forestry Service is now ramping up efforts to educate people in areas that may have never previously been at risk for wildfires. Several teams from Florida are here in Texas during the current declared state of emergency after wildfires in Austin just last week. I know that we're the second team that Texas has brought out, and I know that they're potentially looking at some more coming in. They're just flooding the area because it's getting worse and worse, and they just want people to be more and more aware. Florida and other states with less drought conditions are also dealing with increased risk because of hot temperatures and super bloom. Whenever you have a lot of rain like we did this past spring, um, everything grows. But then we get these large heat waves, these long heat waves, and then it kills everything. So you have more fuel on the ground that is primed and ready for a large fire. While we've seen more wildfires in the uh, past eight months of this year than in last year in 2022 as a whole, what's interesting is that we've seen less acres burned. The experts that we spoke with said this is possibly due to uh, better prevention, ex uh, better prevention methods now that we know there's a higher risk of wildfires. In Houston, Joy Addison, Fox 26 News.